Hello and welcome. I'm an AF42 and in this episode I'm going to be showing you a mechanical pot. Okay, so I saw this thing on Thingiverse, it was called the Venus Pot, uh, or Venus Box. It's just a small pot that has a twisty bit on the bottom and it opens a little eye looking thing at the top. Um, I don't <laughs> I don't have the ability to do time lapses right now, otherwise I probably would do that, but um, yeah. Let's go and see what it looks like. Okay, so here it is. Uh, I've <laughs> I've taken the time to assemble it all together to make sure that it works properly. But we have here um, what some people call the Venus pot. Um, and on the bottom, you can see uh, it printed fairly well. Uh, the sides are pretty good as well. Uh, there's a little bit of, um, I don't really know what you call that. But it could potentially be something to do with uh, maybe, maybe Z wobble or something like that. Or maybe a little bit of over extrusion, I'm not really sure. But yeah, that is present. Other than that, it came out really well. Um, and it went together fairly well as well. I'm quite surprised. Uh, <laughs> there's a little tutorial on the uh, Thingiverse website on how to put it together. You just need to kind of put the two small eyes together. Uh, the, sorry, the two small uh, flaps together then put them on top of the, the big ones. Then what I did was I put them onto the bit at the bottom, which has uh, a big base. You kind of hook it in. Uh, you can grind that left and right a few times just to kind of get it set in so that it does kind of glide a bit better. And then once it's all done, look at that. It goes nicely. It goes really, really nicely. And I was surprised at how smooth it does actually twist. Because I, I always thought, Okay, it's going to be a bit jaggedy when you twist it, but no, look, it twists, closes nicely. Oh, that's even perfectly closed. You can push both so that you, you can get them both right to touching point. You don't have to do them that close. I'm happy with it being like that or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it opens and closes very nicely. Uh, now, to open and close it, you just need to twist the front bit uh, or or the back bit I suppose one or the other but yeah there's uh, four rods on either side they twist around this thing that kind of spins upwards um, and that either opens it or closes the latches really really cool design it's really nice that they've put that free on the internet for people to download and make and it could be um, either a talking piece uh, a good thing to show some of the capabilities of 3D printing, or you could actually use it to hold stuff. So, I mean, you could use it as a dice pot. It'd be big enough for, I reckon, the amount of dice that you would put, uh, that you'd be able to fit in there, like one person's set of dice. But you could also potentially fit quite a few other things in there as well, like nuts and bolts and stuff like that, if you really wanted to. But that about does it for this episode. If you want the file, look in the description below. Uh, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Don't really think from on Twitter, that's at 2 and thanks for watching.